What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Baytastic. It's your boy, Zenos. Today, we have the BX25 gear case from Takara Tomy here for Beyblade X. Um, just a quick look on the back here. You can see there's a spot here for your battle pass. You can put a rip cord, launcher grip, regular launcher, or a string launcher. Um, it's going to hold eight bays. Looks like six ratchets. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty standard case. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, uh, just because it is just a case. All right, so here we have it out of the packaging. Nice little material here. Back's about the same. Nice little handle here. Let's go ahead and open this up. code card is going to be inside the pocket here make sure you uh set that off to the side but here it is so these foam pieces they come out like if you don't want let's say a piece that holds your launchers and battle pass you take that out you put your deck box in here or even more bays um yeah I mean, like I said, not too much to talk about here. Pretty cool case. Um, would have been nice had they released this maybe towards the beginning of Beyblade X's uh, launch versus waiting until now. Um, especially just because so many people already have storage options that this almost feels like a... Uh, basically like a pass. So, um, of course, we picked it up here for the channel. But, uh, you know, and it's pretty, I mean, it is pretty cool. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, I don't want to turn anybody off from it who does want it. It's, it's definitely pretty cool in its own right. So don't make, don't let, don't, you know, don't be fooled. I'm not trying to say do not get this or something like that. It definitely is cool for what it is, but, um, it just would have been nice to get it. Like I said, a little bit earlier in the life cycle, so. Uh, you put your bays hole, you know, whole thing right in there, just like that. Get your drone dagger in there. Load this guy up, give it Leon Claw, Viper Tail, Phoenix Wing, maybe another Phoenix Wing. Bronze sword recolor and a hell's chain. And like I said, you could store bits in these little holes here. So pretty cool. Um, like if you just want to bring extra bits with you that, you know, in case you have something break on you or whatever. I'm not going to fill up every hole, but you guys get the picture here. I mean, you actually can push these down pretty far in there so actually in there on other videos I seem to just kind of let them sit on top like that so I thought maybe that's how you were doing it how to do it but it looks like they actually kind of sit down in there flush a little bit more than I originally thought um but yeah and then of course you know I just put a whole another whole another strain launcher in there or other bays you know with no bits on them so that's pretty much it uh, for this review. Like I said, pretty cool case. Closes up nice. Um, definitely cool storage option for sure. Foam feels pretty nice. Doesn't feel cheap or, you know, for what this is retailing at. I think this is like $27 to $32 if you can get it at Japan price, you know, free shipping. But if you're buying it in the States, man, you're paying 50, 60 bucks. And, you know, for that price point, I just can't, you know, I don't want to say that it's a pass because of the price, but it kind of is. Especially if you already have your own storage option, you know, like I said, tackle box, toolbox, this, that, or the third, you know, this is, this is definitely, you don't need this, but it's nice to have. So kind of like a string launcher so far, you know, you don't need it, but it's nice to have, so. 
that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. Definitely helps out the channel. Uh, give it a like if you liked it. If not, give it a dislike. Leave a comment down below. Did you pick this up or was this a pass for you? And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.